of giving up the hectic pace of life in the city for a little peace and quiet out in the country? Well, one South Tampa couple did just that. They found their slice of paradise on a 15-acre farm in Dade City. And now a unique hobby is keeping them very busy. They just make you laugh. I mean, at their little antics. Debbie Pettis absolutely adores her alpacas. What's Nightstar doing? All 60-plus of them. This is Zaria Yuminko. Oh, there's t uh, there's Caramello running up to the fence. Carmelo is the one who greets strangers and That's gives no. kisses. Yep. She is our, our PR girl. <laughs> You're just too perfect. Debbie and her husband used to live in South Tampa, but when she read an article on alpacas a few years ago and went to meet a few of them in person, she was hooked. And I realized we were capable of raising them. We, we jumped on it. Their life has not been the same since. She loves attention. They now run Sweet Blossom Alpaca Farm in Dade City. They're such unique animals. They all have their own little personality, and there's just something about alpacas. What do you do with alpacas? Well, you raise and nurture hey, them, breed them, show them, Yes, there are shows for alpacas. It's similar to like a dog show. You put a halter and you lead your alpaca into the um, show ring. This pile of ribbons is proof. Uh, Yumiko, um, she is one of our color champions. But primarily you shear alpacas for their fiber. This is off of our girl um, out in the pasture. And that Nothing soft fiber, to similar to wool, can be woven into all kinds of things. It grows just like our hair. If we had curly hair, um, this is, that's how it grows. Alpacas are part of the camel family and similar to llamas, but smaller. They're very, uh, gentle, docile animals. 99% of them don't like to be like petted like a dog. And that's what I tell people. They're more like a cat in personality. They'll come to you when they want attention. And each and every one of the Pettis' alpacas has a name. They're registered by DNA. And Debbie knows every single one of them. Kind of like your classroom of kids or, you know, your friends, you all, you know their names because they're special to you. You know, they're important to you. If you're wondering whether they're equally special to her, the answer is no. I have to say I have one favorite. Oh, here comes my Lily. She was the first um, Kriya or baby that we had at our farm. Um, and I got to bottle feed her for the first seven to eight months of her life. And to this day, she still looks at me as her mama. Debbie can't imagine life without them. Yes, I know once I get old, old, um, yeah, I might have two or three then. <laughs> but uh, for now, we are thoroughly enjoying our herd of alpacas. And Sweet Blossom Alpaca Farm is having an open house in a few weeks. You can check out their alpacas in person Saturday, May 21st from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Just go to SweetBlossomFarm.com for more information.